Now, if you guys do watch my channel and my videos, then obviously you're going to know that I'm not a Zombies YouTuber. But I've been asked a lot of times throughout the week, is the Zombies Chronicle price worth it? Is it actually worth the $30? And I really don't know why you guys are asking me this because, like I said, I'm not a Zombies YouTuber. And I really haven't touched Zombies or got into it since, like, DLC 2 of Black Ops 2. That was the last time I was actually really into Zombies. And uh, ever since then, I don't know, I just really kind of lost my interest in, in the Zombies series for some reason. I really don't know why, but I really used to play a lot back in Black Ops 1. Uh, I used to play Varuk and Shinonuma and all those old maps that they had. Ascension too, that's my favorite Zombies map of all time. Uh, Moon was also pretty good. Basically, I played all the old maps from Black Ops 1 and uh, up to Black Ops 2 DLC 2. I forget what the DLC name was, but that's, that's just the last time I ever played Zombies. But like I said, I've been getting asked a lot of times throughout the week, is the 30 bucks for Zombies Chronicles worth it? And honestly, in my opinion, guys, if you really want to pay for something, if you want to pay whatever price it is for something, then go ahead and do it. Because no matter how much you disagree with the price of a product, it's going to be very, very hard for you to actually get the seller to lower the price. I mean, yeah, you can haggle a bit, but we're talking about an online video game add-on. And I think personally, you need to look at yourself and think about what you're getting. So uh, basically, eight maps completely remastered from the ground up. Voice line, cutscenes, everything fully remastered. Do you really want to play that or do you want to play something that you've already played before and you can actually go back and play again if you own an old gen console or do you want to play again everything with enhanced features you know so think of it like this I have a toy that is kind of old and ran down but it still is very fun to play with and I do get enjoyment out of that toy but there's this remastered refurnished version if you will of that toy that just looks better but you still get the same enjoyment out of the two but by playing with the refurnished toy more people will still want to play with you and that toy that's kind of like a little I guess a uh, bad analogy of the zombie chronicles situation here I don't know just pretty much that's kind of how it is right now um, obviously there are gonna be more people on zombie chronicles when it comes out there's gonna be a lot more people playing and of course you do have your friends that are on the new gen console to play but like I said you really need to look at yourself and just think about it if you're really a hardcore zombies fan then of course go ahead and buy that because you can relive some of the old past that you uh, remember playing back in black ops 1 and black ops 2 but I mean are you really that much of a hardcore zombies fan to actually spend 30 bucks on something that you could possibly go play again either on an old gen console or maybe on PC do you really, really want to spend that amount of money for that and to be honest with you guys after thinking about it a little bit more as I'm making this video uh, I do feel that 30 bucks is actually worth the price of this zombie chronicles DLC so look at the content that you're gonna get here you get 20 vials of liquid divinium two new whimsical goblins gums and an exclusive zombie pack-a-punch camo so basically along with all the other maps you get you get some exclusive in-game content as well and also you do get the dynamic theme for the PlayStation 4 if you uh, if you buy it online digitally so uh, I mean you do get a lot of stuff here you don't just get the maps you do get some uh, some downloadable content for the game now my friend lights out made a very good point in uh, the comments on my last video about DLC 5 <laughs> because if you guys want to go check it out there is a guy that did uh, comment down below and ask me about my thoughts about DLC 5 so I'm not lying here when I say people are asking me a lot of questions about this I've got a lot of replies on Twitter from people asking me but I really haven't uh, responded to them because you know I kind of wanted to save it for this video but anyways lights up made a very good point about DLC 5 and he says something along the lines of you pay $15 for a single zombies map every single DLC you pay $15 for just one single zombies map but with Zombie Chronicles, you do pay $30, and you get eight completely remastered maps from uh, from voice lines, from uh, from outros and cutscenes and stuff like that. You pay $30 for that, and along with some other bonuses as well, you get some downloadable content. So honestly, I really do think that the $30 price is actually worth it for Zombie Chronicles. But going back to the point I said, you know, if you really want to spend money on this, then go ahead and do so. If you don't want to, then just leave it be, because I really don't think hitting on Treyarch or Activision is going to get them to change their mind uh, it's literally set in stone and there's nothing you or I could do about this but uh, I don't know guys those are my thoughts about this so much I think about this down in the comments also drop a like if y'all did enjoy and thank you all so much for watching I'm a vertical of the day till next time I'll catch you guys later